that night <clears throat> the age of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 in the Assyrian camp. When the people got up the next morning, they were all the dead bodies. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, broke camp and withdrew. He returned to Nineveh and stayed there. That is 2 Kings 19, verse 35, activating the guardian angel. Praise Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This is a story of Hezekiah. He was facing a great military challenge whereby his nation, that is Judah, was being threatened with colonization by King Sennacherib of Assyria. And uh, <clears throat> that time, Assyria was emerging as a superpower. And one of, the, one of the only nations they had not been able to conquer was Judah. So they were not seeing any, any, any way that Hezekiah would uh, strip off his hands or his fingers. But let us come out of the history and concentrate on what you are pursuing. If you look at that scripture you have read, God had promised Hezekiah that I would deliver this city and I will also deliver you from the hands of this guy Senecarib and all that and all that. So the point I wanted to make here is this. One of the importance of a guardian angel is because God Arouse, sorry, uses an angel to deliver us from a region of demons. Mm. 185,000 of Assyrian soldiers in a single strike. That was not normal. If you are struggling with Magini, you're struggling with the demons, with the evil spirits, with the ancestral spirit, you're struggling with the familiar spirits, monitoring spirits, you are struggling with the vagabonds and embargoes, you are struggling with the uh, 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 demonic principalities, you are struggling with uh, everything that is demonic in terms of <clears throat> they are um, in large quantities and you have been fighting this battle and you do not know how to fight it because maybe of their population there are so many demons in your life you struggle with the spiritual husband spiritual wives there are those even who dream they see three men sleeping with you there is a lady we it just like one month ago she was saying that uh, she could hear like three men speaking in her ears Get that, huh? instructing her what to do. That we, call, we speak of Mary Magdalene. She was been delivered of seven demons. Remember the man that was delivered by Jesus Christ of 2,000 or 3,000 demons, a legion of demons. So when you are fighting large quantities of demonic forces, you need a guardian angel. This angel, just a single angel, entered into the cup of the enemy and annihilated, annihilated, exterminated, terminated, removed, killed, murdered, assassinated, whichever word you want to use. The end product is all these demons were laid waste. So very key important thing the road will use an angel to deliver us from the most, from huge quantities or large amount of demonic forces that there are so many in your life that you do not know how to maneuver. You just need your guardian angel to deal with all of them and you're gone. Whether they have combined themselves in terms of ancestral spirits, 
the one we call Ogomi. Then there are monitoring spirits, familiar spirits. Then you find there are spiritual husbands or spiritual spouses. There you are fighting with a strong man in your dreams. There you are fighting with the beast demons. You keep on dreaming with snakes, with 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 with, with what are the animals? You get me? You, 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 you are there also dealing with some certain other kind of demons to take in different shapes and in different forms. But all of them, they are attacking you as if from a common front. In such a case, your ability to fight back gets limited. Gets, you, you get lowered so much in terms of uh, 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 combatancy. Your combatance is very, 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 very much limited. So in that case, you, you, you require an angel. You release an angel to go and fight that battle for you. Praise Jesus Christ. And this is very powerful. Number two important thing is eh, the angel of the Lord makes a strong man in your life withdraw in disgrace. Senecarib, the king of Assyria, withdrew returned back home and he went to worship his god called Nisroch and his two sons Adramelech and Sarazan killed him with a sword. When the angel, this garden angel is active in your life, every strong man in your life, whether it is a family strong man like Aniko, grandfather, mother, your father, your mother, whatever your auntie, or any strong man within its form of a pastor, within its form of, or whatever it is in the form of a boss, in the form of a witch, a sorcerer, a diviner, a wizard, every kind of a strong man in your life. If the angel of the Lord is active, that strong man withdraws in disgrace, in total defeat. And they never rise up against you anymore. So this angel must be activated. Let me just highlight uh, some of the few things, some of the few things that uh, Hezekiah used uh, to activate this angel. Key number one, which is open, is prayer. Is prayer. If you look like Second uh, Kings 19, you can read it from verse 15. You shall, verse 16, you can hear Ezekiel say, Give ear, Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, Lord. And it's reason to the ones, Senecarib has sent, and all that, and all that. When God was responding, he said, Tell my servant, verse 20, Then he says, Son of Amos sent a message to Ezekiel. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, I have heard your prayer concerning Senecarib, king of Assyria. So, key number one, enter into intercessory. Pray. Your prayers, and these are honest prayers, genuine prayers, prayers of integrity, prayers of authority, prayers of elevating God over every kind of the power. Number one is your prayer. Number two is Isaiah, son of Amos, a prophet, a prophetic mantle or a spiritual authority or a spiritual cover. This angel does not come to you just because you need an angel. This angel knows how to observe the ministry of a man of God. So don't be proud. Don't be arrogant. You know, nowadays we have a very bad generation that feels because they are unhead, they know Bible and all that, you can, you can do the spiritual business transactions by yourself, my friend. <laughs> spiritual realm, it's not, in, it's not Kenya, where you can have political maneuverability and all that. Spiritual realm is very strict. Actually, I'm coming up with a very stringent topic called the principles that govern spiritual realm. Number two is get yourself a spiritual authority. Number three, when the Lord was speaking, he told Ezekiel that he is going to save, uh, he is going to defeat Senecarib because of his servant David. Praise Christ. Because of his servant uh, uh, David. That's what we call uh, 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 a kingly foundation in verse 34, 2 Kings 19, 34. I will defend this city and save it for my sake and for the sake of David, my servant. So the next point, apart from God, the reason why this angel must come in your life is David, Jesus Christ, or foundation. 